Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Uh, NYLA is here. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. I'm excited. Nyla, you should be, uh, you should think it's, a, you should consider it a privilege and an honor to be sitting next to one of the greatest actors of our generation. I know. A man who was in a movie that's number one in 73 God, stop. countries. God, stop. <laughs> Come on. I didn't want number, to make this big deal. Number, like, one, is number your, one in 73 countries, it, baby. Is, is, is that how many? 73 countries. People were talking wow. about it all up and down my timeline. God. You know, sending me these quotes that they're saying are like memorable, big time quotes. Andrew got, Schultz, baby, the Hezzy. Guys, no stop it. Guys, yeah. stop yeah. it. You guys are just so crazy. I'm just, like, saying, listen, I'm just a regular guy. Like, I'm still one of the, you know, the folks here on the pod. Like, we're just talking and, like, being friends. You what know was what I mean? your like, motivation? It's that one line where you said, the <laughs> are making you gay. I was just trying to be real, man. You know, yeah. I was just, you know, yeah. I was just trying to channel my, like, my true beliefs yeah, about, yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah. vaccine. I didn't say which makes you gay. Yeah. You I, was, I, mean? I was shocked they kept that in there. Yeah. You know, Netflix, left leaning, you know what I'm saying? I think, yeah, I think that, you know, what it really comes down to is that, like, we know that, you know, society is trying to force people to be straight nowadays. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what I was saying is <laughs> the most progressive thing we could do is we could have a for heterosexuality. Word. Word. But I thought you said it makes you gay. Well, yeah, it allows you to be gay because it, it's a way to straight. Oh. <laughs> The straight is a disease, you, bro. You, you know that. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody want to be straight nowadays. Everybody want to be straight, man. Is straight even natural? I wouldn't think so. I, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't think you anything. Guys? What <laughs> you mean? <laughs> I'm just asking the question. What? I mean, what? you kind of come out with the like, with like a something still stuck to you, right? In terms of the umbilical cord, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I thought you was. Saying something completely I mean, different. No, I'm saying, <laughs> it is just kind of weird that you come out as a man, yeah. you have the umbilical cord stuck to you, yeah. but then you spend the rest of your life pausing anything that's long and looks like that. That's so true, bro. You don't think so? Nah, that's so true. Yeah, bro. yeah. I think I think we're gay, man. So yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Um, listen. I don't know where we're going with this, but uh, Yo, no idea. But I, didn't listen, even, I don't even know how to double How do you that. feel? How do I feel about uh, you know the being in the movie? Yeah, yeah, number one in seventy-three countries. Listen, I think it's great. Yeah, I think it's great. It is great. It is cool to see people are still watching movies. To be honest with you, like, I mean, yeah, I didn't know because so many of these movies come out like you go, you see like the Oscars and that shit, and like you like what's nominated. You're like, I've never seen the the Banshees of Insurance. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah, the fuck yeah, these yeah. movies are. Yeah. And then a movie like this comes out and you just, your timeline is lit the fuck up and everybody's tagging you and you're like, whoa, that's yeah, crazy yeah, that yeah, this one. People aren't really going to the theaters like that, but we're definitely at home Yo, watching. They're we're, going to the theaters for the blockbusters. Yes. The big blockbusters. It, it gotta be Avatar. Avatar. It's gotta be Top Gun. Something Marvel, Top Gun, yes. shit like that. The big blockbusters, yes, I want to see that on the big screen. But comedy, give it to me at home where I could watch it. I could still be like, you know, be around the house if I gotta fold some laundry and watch the comedy. And also you got every famous person in it, you know. No, the cast was great. Crazy. <laughs> Yo, Nala cast. liked it. Nala texted me and said she fucked with it. Yeah. Which well, part me, did you like? Fact, let me read exactly Which, what Did Nala you like said. the section or did you like the... I was just like, capital. damn, they got the perfect person for that role. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's called it's acting, role. Nyla. Too. <laughs> Nyla, it's called acting, okay? I was I, yo, playing a character. It was great. Okay, good. It was really, I thought, good. I liked the... Um, Young Miami, I thought she was funny. She was, funny. The, she was good in it. The she wig coming off, the mom accidentally yeah. doing like the whole thing was just really funny. Good yeah. movie. She said, "You watched the You People movie in Netflix." I said, "Nah, not yet. Is it good?" She said, "Overall, yes. This is Nyla. Overall, oh, yes. God. Some of the writing was a little corny. I well, think the okay. actors made it good. The actors made it good. But and the then just J Lo got a shot for no reason. I was like, "Is J Lo in the movie? She's not even in the movie." She said it was an upgrade from the Jennifer Lopez <laughs> wedding movies. <laughs> My mom made me sit through. I was like, what? God, <laughs> I love that part. She I was like, shot. Got a shot for no reason. Yeah. I'm just saying, my mom yeah. used to make me sit through all those wedding movies. I don't really care for them. But J-Lo this one had bad like, wedding movies? She got J-Lo three. still looks good, man. There's a scene with that bread basket on display, and it's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> there's a scene. Bread basket there's, is wild. There's a scene where, like, it is that, just phenomenal. The part where the writing old. was corny to me is where they Shit. dragged that Drake debate. Like, no, this is like, take care of Drake. No, I need you to be on your Scorpion Drake. You guys remember that line? In the oh, beginning? Yeah. 
I only watched the parts where I was I'm in like, it. This is such a drag. And I, I felt triggered when Nunu, I mean, when Lauren London said, I love this song. I'm like, what, what is song this? Was ATL? It? I don't, I don't know. It was just. Why did you feel triggered because a, a woman said she liked a song? Because yeah. that, that is just such a viral moment from ATL that having it in another movie is like. Oh, it was a oh, callback. Do you think it was an homage maybe? I that, think so. Yeah, yeah. I, I like, like those. That. I told you I wanted Best um, Man Final Chapter to have one of those. Like there should have been a scene where they Tay throw Diggs some love and Samai Lathan yeah. was like, yo, Tay Diggs was like, so when did you first fall in love with hip hop or something? Yeah. Or when did mm -hmm. you fall out of love with hip hop? Like something. I'm tired like, of seeing them together on screen. Honestly, even though I thought great script i'm tired of seeing them together on screen yo, you Ooh. hate love yo no Ooh. i don't hate love but it's Ooh, like god that. damn because honestly <laughs> right before i watched best man next chapter i had watched um brown sugar two days before so i'm like oh I'm, and then it was the same the light-skinned lady uh what's her name Mary support Nicola Boris Parker. Yeah, yeah 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 she was the one that was about to marry terrence howard it was like dang it's the same Five actors. They you do know these movies are like thirty years apart. I mean, right? that's fine, like, but I'm just. <laughs> Even though you you might have watched tired, them back to back. I'm tired. Not me. All they need is Omar Epps. He was the only one missing. Well, that was the '90s movie. Oh, crew. you don't like seeing the same black actors in movies. She hates black actors. That's is what she not said. true. <laughs> Would you prefer <laughs> white actors <laughs> play that? That'd be. Is that what you're trying you to say? Actors? You want a little bit more diversity in black movies? <laughs> <laughs> you hate black actors. You just said you hated every it's great not that black I hate actor. It. I just hated seeing them constantly dating in every. Not movie. Not me. I loved it. I used you to want watch... the same couples dating in every movie? I didn't even think about it. That's how good the acting was. Yeah, Omar, you're, you're Omar lost in the character. Yes, Omar Epps and Sinai Lathan totally different than Omar Epps and Juice or Sinai Lathan and Brown Sugar. Like I never even thought about it until you said it. Like, oh shit, those that is the same. But when group, you watch but, back to back black rom coms, there's gonna be some similarities with the actors and the plot. Love Jones is nothing like Brown Sugar. Love Jones is nothing like. I didn't there's say one Love story Jones. for rom coms. Top tier. You can watch every rom com so back Brown to back. Brown Sugar, it's Brown Sugar's top tier. It, it's up there, but Love Jones is top tier tier. Oh, like no, that's my one. wife's favorite movie. Yeah, Color Purple like, and Love Jones, my wife's favorite. Wait, movie. what is Brown Color Sugar? Purple. Oh, you gotta watch it. No, who's in that one? Tay Diggs. Tay Diggs. Tupac Nathan. has sex with Janet Jackson and uh, that's poetic justice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's poetic justice. Tupac works for the Postal Service. That's poetic justice. That, 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 that one. Poetic no. justice was good too. All that shit was dope, yo. Like that, but that was the '90s black crew. Morris Chestnut. Brown Sugar's early 2000s. Early or no? Because yeah, Erica Badu like did ninety eight, ninety nine, two thousand maybe, probably two thousand one, two thousand one. Yeah, probably two thousand one. Because my wife was just a freshman in college. You know, yeah, 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 it is interesting. You want to see a different character play something, but at the same time, if you're investing the money in the project, you want the person that's going to bring the eyeballs. Yeah, you're right. That's the tricky one. But we, and you know, so funny. We act like white people don't do that. Oh, like, white people do it all the time. Exactly, jo uh, Jonah Hill, Seth. Uh, what was this? which Seth? Daniel Day Lewis is our um, Chadwick Boseman. You know how J Chadwick Boseman yeah, yeah, was just yeah, 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 plays yeah. like every famous black person yeah. ever. That's Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, he'll yeah. be the oil motherfucker. He'll be Abraham Lincoln. He'll yeah. be the guy from the Five Points or whatever it is. So yeah, we all do that. We then go, there was okay. a crew though: James Franco and Seth. Uh, Seth, Seth, Rogen. Seth Rogen yeah. did a bunch of stuff together. Adam Sandler and his homies Adam were doing Sandler it. Adam Sandler and his homies. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. I, said, yeah. I don't want people Will to Farrell. think I don't want them to keep getting parts. I want them to keep getting parts. I just don't want them to keep dating the same Yo, maybe actors. maybe you got to choose different movies, yo. Mm. Nah, if you maybe hate black actors you, and actors, just say Nyla, it, yo. You know what I mean? Yo. Maybe you hate black love. Anyway. I, I don't know why. I don't know why black and brown shit got a shot today. You shot J Lo for no reason. Yeah. Now you're shooting all but the black guys. But you that black girl was dating that white boy. Oh, what are you talking you about? Jungle that Fever. black girl was dating that white boy and you oh, people. Oh, in the movie. You love Jungle no, Fever. Yeah. 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 Jungle Fever. Ooh. Right. You got you Jungle about, Fever. You're talking about the movie he's in. Ooh. Oh, you're talking about Lauren London? What? What's it called For the People? I was talking about For the People. <laughs> What's it called? For the People. <laughs> you people. You people. Yeah. We were talking about that. I'm just saying, you? you seem to be a little bit more partial to movies where a white no, man I, steals I still a black thought woman. It was weird that Lauren was dating him. Like the whole debate on Twitter is, would Lauren London really date him? That's Fuck so no. Silly. The answer That's is no. That's the most no. unrealistic shit. Yeah. That's why it's in a movie. This should be a science fiction film. Okay. <laughs> There's no fucking way in any world to did, did Lauren, Lauren London dates Jonah Hill. You never thing. know though. Jonah might have some good conversation. No, nah, Jonah's funny. Yo, there's a hilarious thing. The I don't know if you know if I should share this shit, but uh, the final scene, they don't even kiss. It's CGI. Get the fuck out Swear of here. Swear to God, son. 
How's it CGI? I'm there. I'm watching the wedding and I see them going for the kiss and their faces stop like this far. And I'm like, I wonder how they're going to play that in the movie. Oh, they're probably just going to cut right there. But the movie, you could see their faces come close wow. and then you could see their faces morph a little bit wow. into a fake kiss. Salute to Lauren London making Dr. Umar proud in real That's life. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> he might have got That's pissed off in the movie. Dr. Umar might have got pissed off in the movie, but in yeah. real life, Lauren Dr. Umar's like, you people got it right. That's funny. <laughs> That's the acting I like. <laughs> well, go check out you people on Netflix, man. Check out, you know, Andrew, you know, spreading conspiracy <laughs> theories about the vaccine. Doing coke in Vegas. The vaccine. We outside. Making people <laughs> gay. We outside. They, was there any fentanyl jokes? I was just... I'm trying to think. Maybe I threw something in. You know, I forget. Coke in Vegas, there's some fentanyl in the cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah, cut yeah. my they cut my line that I bombed with Eddie, so that was... That was uh, probably good for my career. Yeah. What was but, it? Uh, oh man, I just I butchered this line. They switched lines with me and someone else like right before the scene started, so I didn't have time to learn the shit really. And it was like with Eddie, I'm talking to Eddie, so I'm already fucking nervous because I'm talking to Eddie. Yeah. And uh, I just fumbled that shit mad times. And like Eddie's supposed to react, but I was saying it so bad that at one point he just looks at me because he goes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how I know that shit hurt, Show. Yeah, so. I've heard this story 15 <laughs> times. Nah, 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 nah. Brilliant idiots and flagrant. I've literally heard this story 15 times, yo. <laughs> that shit is yeah. not leaving your sister. <laughs> Let it go, is, man. Bro, no, this is my like a uh, Jerry <laughs> Curl smell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> that shit traumatized that show, did, yo. Bro. I literally was, I'm not even joking. I've heard this story 15 times between idiots and flagrant. I know. And you bro. say it every time with the same passion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I got to promote a movie, Charlamagne. Okay? You know what I'm I got to get people out to their own. One day, Eddie Murphy. Out to their own. So, yeah, by the way, he probably already has. Somebody's going to say, yo, you should really watch that guy on Infamous, yo. Let's he's going to watch Maybe. his stand up yeah. and he's going to die laughing. <laughs> and he's going to say, well, he's better on stage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 you know, but it's all good, man. You know, the out here making people gay. I mean, you know, that's an allegedly. That's an allegedly. I mean, there's theories. There's theories about you know what I've, I've seen some weird theories online about what causes gayness. Yo, what does make people gay? I don't know. The wildest one I saw was they said if you're a guy, mm -hmm. if you keep your mouth closed on the way out. Come on, bro. <laughs> if you keep your mouth closed on the way out. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Is that if you keep your mouth open on the way out and you get a little taste, that's what you always crack. <laughs> yeah. I heard that. And then they said for women, you come out with your mouth open. Yeah. Same thing. Hey, <laughs> if you keep your mouth closed. That's what I heard. Where did you find these theories? Did you hear that? <laughs> Damn, bro. That's crazy. I saw it online, yo. Damn. I don't know. What do Jamaicans have to say about that? Because they're really conflicted. C-section. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they don't want to be gay. C-section. Because they don't want to be gay. But at the same time, they're not trying to eat pussy. So they, they are very conflicted about what to do when you exit a vagina. <laughs> they gotta go C-section, yo. That's their only way out. Oh, That's man. crazy. They do. Oh. They gotta pop out like like oh. when you bite into the beef patty, bro. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> they, they gotta split the seams a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yo, Jamaicans oh, are like that. You just see the fathers in the room just oh. keep your mouth shut. Oh. <laughs> keep your mouth shut. Oh, <laughs> Don't be no licking a poom poom. Oh my god. No <laughs> licking a poom poom. Oh. oh my god, man. Jamaican dads don't want the doctor to slap their boys on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> he figured out the breathing on his own. <laughs> oh. oh my god, That's man. So Did you see Michael B. Jordan on SNL? No. Me neither. I, yo, I thought I that shit happened weeks ago. Me too. I was watching Michael B. Jordan little baby promos all week on Instagram, and I thought it was some old shit. Because you, know you know how they always like to post like little babies funny without trying? Yeah. And I, I, thought, I thought that's what that was. Well, so wait, this there, happened Saturday? This was Saturday. Oh, wow. <laughs> Completely missed it. Yeah, let's hear it. Did he make any jokes about, you know... I like Michael B. Jordan, too. How can you not watch? like Michael B. Jordan? Yeah, well, you know? I don't know. Maybe there's someone who doesn't like him. Shut up. What? What, Taylor? Let's hear it. 
Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah, I went through my very first per- my very first public breakup. Now, most people after a breakup are like, I'm gonna get in better shape. But I was already in free shape. So I had to be like, alright, I guess I'll learn a new language. Anyway, it's story in right now. Okay, so pause that for a yeah. second. Was that whatever the white girl that he was dating speaks? No, the alleged white girl. No, I'm serious. I don't oh, know. Like, oh no, 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 no. She was. She's from Europe. That white. So that girl. wasn't European. What was that? He was, <laughs> oh, that was Spanish. Hold on, that hurt my brain, bro. He <laughs> said something so dumb it hurt my brain. Bro. <laughs> I, I had to stop. <laughs> I had to stop for a second. That was one of the dumbest things I ever heard. So I had to, I, I literally just had to go, hmm. I had well, to reset my whole shit. But I don't know. Okay, I'm back. I'm, I'm just back. trying to figure out what was, what, why did he do that? Like, what was I'm the joke? I'm trying to figure out why you did that. that that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's, that's, that's legit what I'm trying to figure out right now. Okay? Oh my he, God. Raya is a dating app for celebrities, basically. Like blue check motherfuckers. And estoy en Raya means I'm on Raya means I'm on this dating app in Spanish. So he, he picked up Spanish. Oh. Yeah. Did not know. Went yeah. over my head. I'm glad that somebody got it. Yeah. Okay. Press play, Taylor. Yeah, yeah. Not the best joke. Why do they make everybody do a monologue on SNL? I think like, it's... let comedians do monologues. Yeah. Like, I don't... Like, we don't need that from Michael B. Jordan. Like, there's other things that Michael B. Jordan could have done. Or maybe, you know, because I, I think later on in the monologue, somebody came out with him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. why not something like that? Like, why do they got to tell jokes? I don't know. Why do you think that they make everybody who's hosting do the monologue? I don't know. I don't think that's necessary. Maybe it started at a time where we just found like, okay, this is a comedy show. Yeah. So today you're going to be a comedian and comedians do monologues. Because we see that on late night. We see it with stand-ups. I'm just saying maybe it's like baked in from back in the day type of thing. It's a tradition. I'm okay, so. at it. And, and I think what's kind of cool is like you're going to see somebody outside of their comfort zone. It's wild. Looking fine as ever as always. <laughs> Who is that? I got the same suit like you. Oh, Punky Johnson. <laughs> I'm Punky. Be curious. <laughs> Punky, be curious. See what I'm saying? But listen, you notice the difference? Punky comes out there and the pacing is just bang, 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 yeah, bang, bang, yeah, bang. Yeah. Like Michael, yeah. uh, you know what they should have did for SNL with Michael B. Jordan and any actor in Hollywood? Just do sketches. Yeah. You play to their strength, which is acting. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, why do the monologue? But yeah. sometimes they do the monologue and they hit. Like Kim Kardashian's Kim monologue. Kim Kardashian that hit. That one hit. I think a tricky thing, to be I honest with you, I, I, no, no, Kim Kardashian slapped that. I'll be honest with you, she slapped it. It wasn't because of the delivery and the pacing. She it's had pro- great jokes. She had great jokes. And she delivered them well. She content. delivered them well. And she spoke well, about like vulnerable shit in yeah, her family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think the tricky thing oftentimes with, with, with monologue stuff, because Team Chappelle wrote her jokes, by the way. Is that right? Yeah, Michelle Wolf and uh, Dave helped her with her. Joke. They did it. Yeah, yeah, they did a great job. I, listen, I've helped somebody with a, a monologue, and the tricky thing is you're not only dealing with Ooh, Jake what. Paul? No, he never did a. Oh, <laughs> with an SNL monologue. Oh, okay, and like they and, and the thing is that you have, you're dealing with what they can say and what their people feel comfortable yeah. with them saying, and also with what you can say on TV. You know what I mean? There's relationships that they might not want to mess up. You might want to have a joke going at someone that yeah, like, ah, yeah, I don't yeah, really. Yeah, so you're yeah, dealing yeah. with a lot of shit. Whereas most comedians are like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'll say whatever. We're out here. So Kim came out shooting. Kim K came out shooting. That's got you. why that shit was fire. Got you, got you, got you. Got you. I mean, listen. As we were talking about earlier, you don't need much nowadays. For what? Just in general, to entertain, period. Like, Scott's you crazy. don't need much. I'm Scott's just crazy. saying. Scott's no, I'm crazy. just saying. You don't need much. You just come, you know, like like people look satisfied, you know? Yeah. And may, maybe because we don't see, especially somebody like Michael B. Jordan, we don't see Michael B. Jordan in that space too often. Yeah. You know? Well, that's the thing. It's cool to see somebody do something that they usually don't do yeah, for yeah, a few yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. For a few minutes. Yeah, Once yeah, it's yeah, yeah. an hour, nobody wants that. Yeah. But it's cool to see somebody try something, well, you know, put themselves in a vulnerable situation, especially if they're a famous person. They're never in vulnerable situations. I know that somebody wrote some jokes about Michael B. Jordan and white women that he probably didn't want to say, though. There you go. I and those might be did. the funniest oh. jokes. That's what he should have did. Like, give me some of that. Now you're being vulnerable, Michael. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, but maybe he's obvious. maybe he's thinking about the brand though, also, and he's like, "Ugh, I don't. I know that's already a perception. I want to lean into that." So these guys, the thing is that they're not making no money doing this fucking SNL shit. They're doing it, I guess, for like for clout and it's good for career. But you're not about to throw away the money maker. That's why I thought it was old. 
Yeah. Because I was like, well, Lil Baby album been out. I don't you know, know why I, mean? I thought that he was already on it. And Michael B. Jordan, like, not in cycle. When does Creed 3 come out? Which I can't wait to see, by the way. Definitely can't mm. wait to see. But Creed's a great Him I, and that girl been broke up. That's why it feels old, too. Him and they just broke up a month Who? ago. She got a new man. Who? Oh, yeah, you're right. Damn, how and, long ago was that? Damn, and I, he's dating a white girl now. Allegedly. He said that's not true. March uh, 3rd? Oh, March 3rd. Allegedly. Supposed <laughs> to drop Creed during Black History Month, Michael. It's a little late. Okay. Guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys. 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 Funniest shit. Yeah, like, Creed 3 comes out Black History Month, but it's actually March 3rd. Yeah, yeah but you, you give fuck? a few days, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. March 3rd is technically the 31st of February if they gave y'all a real month. Damn. February, I, I take I, that. Yeah, yeah, I never liked Black History Month only because it's it's a it's the shortest month I, of the wow, year. Wow, we just gonna jump right over that. No, right no, no, there. I'm, that I'm was fire. But, but that's bro. one of the reasons I don't like it because it's one of the shortest Read months the of the year. Knowledge, man. Plus, it's so much that happens during Black History Month. It's so many distractions during Black History Month. I'm never distracted. Valentine's Super Day. Super Bowl. Valentine's Day. All Star Weekend. All Star Weekend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Grammys. It's gonna be mad Casamigo commercials on. Like nobody got time for that shit, man. <laughs> Wait, what? Why, why, why Casamigos? We don't need you to come, chime in. What, what, happened <laughs> what happened with Casamigos? What happened with Casamigos? Get that one either. Where did that come from? What is Casamigos? He tried to gloss over his bomb. That's what he just said. To him. <laughs> that wasn't a bomb. Wait, what happened with Casamigos? That was not a bomb. That was a nice stereotypical placement. Wait, okay. wait, wait. Why do oh, black people we, love Casamigos? Yeah, we do love Casamigos. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all just <laughs> found, y'all just came up on Casamigos? <laughs> Shit. We, we probably the reason that Clooney could sell it for a billion dollars. Nah. You think oh, white people drink Casamigos too? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought white people was on Tito's. Casamigos was Tito's is, like is vodka. Yeah, Casamigos yeah, yeah, yeah. tequila. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, 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 use, I like Casamigos. I fuck with Casamigos. I drink it. Okay, I bombed. Don't worry about it. Um, let's move on. <laughs> Listen, we shoot, baby. I like shooting. Shoot. I didn't think we you bombed. Shoot. I thought they did something racist. I was, was in the stand. About. I was in the stand making me feel bad. I know. He loves to do that God shit. Damn. He's a sniper, bro. Shit. He's just waiting the whole show. Like, oh, yeah, that shit about to fly. That shit about to fly. I'm coming. Hey, man. I'm going to tell you something. I went to, uh, I went to go see Chris Rock and uh, Dave Chappelle. And Donnell Rollins and what's the, I can't remember I can never remember the white dude that's with him. He was funny though. Rich, uh, is his name Rich? Rich or Rick? Rick Ingram. Rick, is it? Is it Rick Ingram? I, it's definitely the Rick. guy that opens for Chris Rock sometimes. Yes, let me I think I believe that's Rick Ingram. Let me tell you something. Donnell Rollins took full advantage of the phones being off. And I'm not going to say what he oh, said. Oh, Jesus. But oh, Jesus. Because the funny, when you know Donnell is funny, right? Don't. No, because Donnell, first of all, Donnell's one of the funniest people on stage. That's like, he just he just is, like, yeah, I'm not even joking. This is not no, that I'm giving, he's one of the funniest people on stage. Donnell is absolutely fucking hilarious. He's hilarious. I always thought he was funny, whether it's Caroline's Comedy Club, to seeing him in a big arena, he kills. But... There was one part, two parts, where Donnell really got mad. <laughs> what were you talking about? I can't even say. Why? Because, but I'll tell y'all afterwards. But he really got mad. Like, you know how Donnell goes into those spells yeah. where he walks away from people? Yeah. Like, like we, we even went out the night before. We went to uh, Halls in Charleston, South Carolina. Halls is a beautiful restaurant downtown Charleston. Downtown Charleston. It was a Thursday night. It's packed, you know. And you, you remember back in the day when we used to go to like guy code events and Donnell would like go stand off to the side. Okay. And he'd be like, what's wrong with Donnell? He was doing this in the restaurant as we're waiting for a table, like going to stand by the door like he's in jail. I'm like, bro, what is wrong with you? He's like, yo, you just never know, yo. Never know what? Like, relax. <laughs> right? Right? So he also paid for dinner, which I thought was fantastic. Who? Donnell. He paid for dinner. It was like nine of us and Halls is not cheap. So when you know Donnell and you know he goes through these spells... Watching him do this on stage is hysterical. Okay. <laughs> and he did it on stage. Hold he on. just stops and he goes, y'all fucking phones off? Y'all fucking phones off. Y'all fucking phones off. Y'all fucking phones off. 
And he just, <laughs> he just started saying everything you should not say. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. It was unbelievable. Oh, man, what do you mean? It was unbelievable. What do you mean? I'm not going to say what he said. It was just unbelievable. Can we just do a long bleep? Can we put I'm a long I'm not saying none of that shit no. he said. <laughs> <laughs> the only one I would remotely say is cracker. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> well, well, it was the words he put together with. with no, there was this one. He was telling this joke about a dog, right? And there was a woman in the crowd who got was very upset. Uh huh. And so he goes, <laughs> Yeah, oh boy. I'm like, no. Yo, what the fuck? No. <laughs> Come on now, though. What? Come on I now, don't now, now. That. I don't believe that. I'm not joking. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Um, this shit. I gotta see this show, bro. I, I gotta this see was it. not part of his set. Yeah, yeah. He had a whole other joke, and he saw he honed in on this woman who was not happy. It was like two people who weren't happy. One person was yelling from the crowd, but he's just like it's a crowd of eighteen thousand people. One heckling ain't gonna stop. Yeah, yeah. But this woman was right in the front row, and she did not like this dog joke. You in conservative South Carolina, bro? They love their animals out there. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, "Oh, you mad? You mad about my dog joke? You mad about my dog joke? Bitch, it's a joke." <laughs> she got even madder. Like, what? Why are you keep fuck? calling her a bitch? What that was, was he was doing? This is whoa, 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 whoa. What was the, What was the crowd's reaction to that? Shocked. Both. Laughter, exactly that. Laughter and like, what the fuck? That's nuts. That's nuts. But Chantel, he's a, yo, he's a beast. What did the woman do after that? Bro, I don't know. I thought he was laughing to her. I'm laughing and talking to people like, she what stayed fuck is wrong with him. Uh-huh. Did, yeah, did, did she, she stay? Did she walk out? I don't know, you know. That's a good idea. You know, it's, a, it's an arena of 18,000 people. The only reason you could even see her is because they put her face on the Jumbotron? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yes. That's nuts. Yes, man. Yes, man. Donnell. He got PTSD. Is an animal. He was in the Air Force. Mm. He was. Donnell was in the Air Force for like four years. <laughs> <laughs> that's not normal. <laughs> He's got a funny ass joke about that shit, too. Well, about I'm the not going to say y'all, All I'm going to say is, man, if Donnell Rollins is in your town, go see he's headlining, uh, he's with Dave Chappelle and them, go see him. That motherfucker is funny. They're in, they in like Europe now, Australia. I think they're in Australia. Yeah. You know, Australia's not Europe, right? They're in Australia. <laughs> he's trying me today, bro. Man. He's trying me today. He's trying me today. I know he's going for it. I know he's going for it. I know when Sean comes in ready to go oh for it. God. And that's what's happening today. Okay. No. I see they're, how it is. They're in Australia, man. Taylor, Wait. what else we got, Taylor? Nah, Australia's in Asia, right? No, actually, Australia's its own no, continent. It's its own continent. Yeah, it's in Australia. So they're in Australia then. They're in Australia. But did you do that thing you were going to do? Oh yeah, did you fuck with him? Did you prank him and all? Nah, because we had such, you know, it's so sad. We had such a good time Thursday night. That you didn't want to ruin it. Nah, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like me and Donnell had some good bonding time on Thursday night, man. You know what I mean? We just was out laughing, joking. Would you would you technically call him like your dog? Then my wife made me feel bad. She's like, why you why do you want to do that? Why? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's why I don't tell her nothing. That's why you just <laughs> do the <this> show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got an idol like that before. What? Shut up. Wait, what? No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I had the cops run down on her and stuff. Oh, you told us that. You told us that. You told <laughs> us that. Cops ran down on her at dinner. Nyla was a G, though. Nyla was ready to take that charge. <laughs> Nyla was ready to go to the woman's jail. That was nuts. With a woman a tough. Mm. Women came out with their mouths they open. They Listen, um, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all mouths still open. Be careful out there. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful out there. What y'all. else we got, Taylor? Taylor, 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 gang. Taylor, Taylor. This was wild. What? No, forget the Empire State Building. The high schooler who broke. First of all, this high school is getting way too much credit for breaking this teacher's leg during this fight that happened in Rockdale County. Did you see this video? Mm-mm. This teacher got into a fight with uh, a high school student. Oh, come on. And she's facing criminal, the high school student is facing the criminal charges as as she should. Now, what's sad about this situation is her and the teacher was having an argument. What I see is either a very bad kid, see, we got the video, or a child who's going through a manic 
breakdown. Yo, let's play the audio. <laughs> Why she walk out of her classroom? Though? Oh my goodness. She's it's obviously New York. not safe. She said, I swear to God. Watch how serious she take God. She said, I swear to God. Keep that camera steady. <laughs> Keep that camera steady, yeah. She body shaming her, calling the teacher a fat B. Oh, they had another angle? Yo, and the editing seamless. Oh my God. Oh my God. That poor woman is on that ground. Like, if my leg wasn't broke, I would beat the dog shit out of you. Her leg's not broken. She's getting that disability. She broke her leg. Now the teacher's getting too much credit. I mean, the student's getting too much credit for breaking her leg, because the reality of the situation is the teacher threw her ass. Oh my God. No, the well, teacher no, tossed her. The teacher did toss her. The teacher did toss her. But that's why, when you're a certain age, you can't just be out here challenging motherfuckers to fight. Oh, I'm not fighting. No it, that's what I'm saying. I'm not fighting. You think no you still got it until you actually get into a scrap. That's why you got to give the teachers guns. That's ridiculous. So no, you got to give the teachers guns, bro. I'm not mad at that. Let the teachers be strapped up. Come talking shit like that. Listen, I, I believe that that teacher had every right to defend themselves. Mm. We had and a lot teachers of teachers get security. That too. You can't put a security guard in every fucking room. Exactly. And, and what if you got a panic button? You put you hitting that panic button while that nineteen year old or sixteen year old wailing on your fucking head. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think okay, taser. Yes, I want that too. Teachers don't need to have guns. Bang. There's some bad teachers out there. If you know your teacher got a gun, you ain't even gonna try no shit like that. That's true. You know what I'm saying? I would just bring a gun. No, that's why you have metal detectors. You have metal detectors in the school and security. You warned all the kids and everybody down. You know the teachers who are licensed to carry and they have their weapons. But I guess if you got the metal detectors and stuff, you wouldn't need the teachers to have guns either. For, for, for the way schools are set up now, mm. where there's no security that checks people when they come in, yeah. I'm all for teachers having their gun in their desk, yeah. put some bullshit that pop off. Maybe not for a fist fight, but for them mass shootings and shit. Yes, I want teachers to be able to defend themselves. And I want teachers to be able to defend themselves in a situation like this as well. That's crazy. Like they saying yeah, that, like we had teachers calling the breakfast club this morning saying that they get fired if they defend themselves against students. Why? No, nah, that's now crazy. Now I got a fucking broke leg. That's crazy. I done got beat up on, probably got head injuries, 50 plus years old, traumatized. You know the older friends is teasing the shit out of her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, teacher, that teacher's friend is teasing the shit yeah. out of her. Right? Oh, my God. All, all because that young woman never got beat up at home. I mean, I think. Maybe she did. You think? No. Yeah, maybe. Maybe yeah. she did. No. And that's why she's Charlotte. doing it. No, I'm going to tell you why. She, she did. beat up an adult before. You don't try no adult uh, unless you know you saying. can beat one. She did that bullshit at home with probably her grandma or somebody and won. Yeah. And now she thinks she can go out in the world and, and fuck and anybody up. Exactly. Uh, but she's dealing with some messed up stuff that she would even do that to an authority figure. Like her life sucks. That, that I feel bad for that. Or girl. maybe she's just bad. Yeah, but I don't think there. I think there are people who are just bad. There are the Jeffrey Dahmers and that kind of stuff. But I think most of the kids that are acting up are dealing with like really troubling situations at home and they don't know how to process those feelings and emotions. Maybe. And also I feel like people it's like learned behavior. Like that's like trendy and cool behavior. Exactly. On Yo, TikTok that's the problem with TikTok and, Instagram. and Instagram is like it's rewarding yeah. fucking that, your exactly. teacher. Up. Yeah. So that's Not even just your teacher, just that attitude. Like, what'd yeah. you say, bitch? Like it's yeah. always the aggression. And they're all performing. Of, like, yeah, they're performing. And that's right. what I mean when I say, like, yo, it's know. easy to jump to <laughs> You know, oh, she got mental issues, emotional issues, which probably could be true. It's easy to say, yo, she's troubled at home. Maybe she's just performing and she's bad. Mm. I was a bad little motherfucker. But you might have had issues at home. I think there were some things, yeah. right? Like I mean, maybe. <laughs> Sound like therapy. I never did now. that though. Let's unpack. Because my mom because my mama was a teacher <laughs> and right. I knew doing some shit like that. You probably oh, had a lot of respect for teachers, but you were. And, you were I, know, and I know I'd have to deal with my parents at home. Yeah. In the news report, a student they interview say that um the teacher was like mean or whatever like that. Like So kinda, what? I'm just saying, saying no, that's a teacher should get a gun. I don't believe in that one. But I do believe what they, about they a sword should have or some type like of. Huh? A sword or something like that? Maybe like a taser. It might, yeah. Listen, it might be extreme to say teachers can have guns. But in this current climate that we're in, where there's no protection for anybody in these schools, yeah. I don't have a problem with a person protecting themselves. 
If I was a, if I was a school teacher and you know I'm watching the news all the time and I see these mass shootings and shit, I probably would feel like man, I need to have my shit on me when I'm in school, just because you just don't fucking know. Mm. You just don't know. That's true. That's true. Yeah, you would be anxious. Like think about it. You're going into this place where you see all these shootings happen, you know that you have this strap at home. You're like, I might as well come to school with this thing because I never know what the fuck could happen. never fucking know. Or maybe know. we can do like preventative measures like bulletproof vests for students. Like an underneath <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. You got every student that's wearing a bulletproof wild. vest up. Just, but think about that. That's why the, 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 the fact that we got to go through those measures. So how much yeah. would that cost the school to buy every kid a bulletproof vest? Just pay for metal detectors. Mm, pay yeah. for people Definitely to warn people nah, when they come it. in. I don't stop it. I went to school in Far Rockaway. We had metal detectors and people still got everything you needed. To why get did you go to school in really? Far Rockaway? Because I grew up in Far Rockaway, Nyla. Oh. Were you judging? That is. <laughs> <laughs> she thought you went to school in the Bronx. Yeah. No. Like every other Puerto Rican and Dominican. I'm black and, and Puerto Rican. Oh. Yes. Allegedly. Listen, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> school should have the same security as airports. TSA? Yes. Not that pat down. That's too much. By the way, I think every public place that has a bunch of people should have the same security as airports at this point. Yeah, but then it just becomes difficult, man. It's, it's not difficult now sitting around wondering who got it on them. I don't, I block that shit out. Of like, course what? you do. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew is the epitome of ignorance and bliss. Yeah. <laughs> if he does, I believe that, yo. <laughs> I, I wish I could do that. Shit, yeah. I wish I could do I'll that. I'll teach you how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you how to do it. Just think it's going to be all right. Everything's going to be fine. Listen, you might be right. I mean, you know, the, 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 my therapist, my old therapist used to say that all the time. Like, think about all the times you thought something bad was going to happen. When did it? Okay. Yep. But... And then think about all the time. But this is what I tell her. Well, what about all the times it happened to somebody else? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Why am I so lucky? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like, it feels like it's only a matter of time. You know? You don't yeah. never watch the news and be like, God damn, thank God I'm not in that scenario. Oh, I think about that all the time. I hope that I don't induce those I types of things. can't live fear. But you gonna no? I agree with you. You can't think that shit into existence, though. So. No, yeah, I'm not. Seeing that's, it. that's true too. That's what anxiety does to you too, and I don't. I, I, I won't accept that. Meaning that you know you, your thoughts become things. Just they because do. Of, you know, that ain't true. Think about all the women you <laughs> masturbated to. How many, Son, this guy. How many you actually hey, slept hey, with? Hey. I'm married to her. I'm talking about before. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's your boy. It's your boy with the quick response. <laughs> what, uh, what else we got? Silly. New York Empire State Building. Are you even? A, you know, I've never heard you shout out the Giants. You don't give a fuck about the Giants, right? Yeah. You a baseball guy? A nah, basketball. basketball. Basketball, boxing, MMA. That's really what it comes down to. And, and basketball has almost become barely, to be honest with you, just because the Knicks are so fucking sorry. So you didn't feel a way about them making the, the Empire State Building the Eagles colors? No, nah, I think it's stupid. But at the same time, it's like it's, New York is a global city. Like, so New York is reflects. It still? Come on, son. Absolutely. You're acting crazy right now. What? You're acting Absolutely. fucking crazy right now. No, I'm asking. Have the no, people in here any No, nah, Empire York. State Building should never do it. That's some goofy ass shit. But I'm sure someone there is like, yo, we're the world city, so we just reflect what's going on in the world, and this team started to win. That being said, you got to realize that you're in fucking New York, and we don't want to see no other colors. Yeah, they shouldn't have done that. What? Be, I don't know if New York has a culture. Wait, what are oh, you talking stop about, it, Simon? That's wild. What are you That's talking about? Wild. So. That's really wild. <laughs> Sorry. 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 What are you talking about, bro? I think that New York. Hey, you ready? You want to try it? Everybody. You want to tell you what I'm going to tell you what I'm culture? Say that sentence. Suck my dick. No, no. Oh, that's another that's part of our culture. That's what I'm saying. I was going to go, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck is... you. Suck my dick. But that's what I mean. Munch. That's a, that's a, oh, huh? Munch. Oh, that's the new shit. You're a munch, though. That's, that's you, New, I New York I know for a fact, you came out mouth open. You're that's a munch, York, bro. <laughs> yeah, you came out mouth open, munch. <laughs> up, that really is that New York culture. Yo, that's New York culture now. New York. Hey, hey, hey. Rap music. New nah, York. No, wait, 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 I'm, I'm about to go. New York. I'm going to explain. New York. This, Don't ever forget I, it. This era of okay. New York City mm -hmm. culture is still the... 70s, 80s, 90s. That's not true. What about the dancing? New What's York that shit that, they that we love? Sturdy. The, the getting sturdy, like all the dancing everybody's doing around the world is the shit that's from New York. Wait, wait, wait. Now I'm lost. You lost me. The what sturdy. The sturdy the rock. Not the Millie, but there was the, the Millie. Millie rock, you, yeah. know how to, you know how to get sturdy? I don't. That's the Millie rock. All that's getting wait, sturdy. Talking about this? No, no. The, the kick shit. 
That's not. That's, that's New, New York. York. Yeah. That's Yo, Nala, can you learn about hip hop? I don't know if that's New York. <laughs> that's, 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 Jesus that's, that's, Christ, that's I got school these oh, Getting light, yeah. getting light, getting light. Not nah, getting sturdy, bro. It's called getting sturdy, guys. But I thought, what's, what's the getting light? Nah, y'all, you're, that's you're like washed. That's like light feet. That you're was washed. a while ago. Both of y'all washed. Yeah. We're going to put yeah. y'all on New York Listen, rap. Regionally, New York I don't know if that's New York. What is that? What's going on right so, now? Let's talk about it. Let's right talk about it because nobody wants to have the conversation. Everybody's having a conversation. Shit. New York still runs the game. Oh, when, wow. When, 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 really when everybody's saying, hey, yo, that's New York. That's not New Nobody yes, it is. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. No. Are you serious? <laughs> we are the most homophobic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, oh, no. You're... Yeah. That's New York. That's yeah. New York. I don't know. That's New York. What are you talking Dead about? Ass? Dead ass. Dead ass. That's New York. Dead ass. New York. That's New York. The way Dead all you speak New is New York. I feel like all of this is OG Dead shit. Ass. Tim's all this shit is OG and shit. And I wear Tim's no more. I just got on platforms. So, Chicago. So, so. <laughs> 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 Slime Empire State Building is shaped like a penis. <laughs> yeah. What? the people fuck can is say, So what? People hip-hop. can say. Nah, nah, nah. People that can, right there. People can say. I was sus. People can say there's some New York culture that does a lot of de-hopping, right? This is de-hopping. To have the Empire State Building turn Philadelphia Eagles colors, nah. then turn Kansas City Chiefs colors, is D hop. That was a mistake. This is the yeah. culture. That was not. This is the city. This is the, this is the, the city. This is the city of some of the most mistake. storied franchises ever. The Giants, the Yankees, mm. the Knicks. You should never turn the Empire State Building into an NFC East rival. That's facts. Philadelphia. That's yeah. facts. What the fuck? That when, was a mistake. But it's not like that's that? a mistake. That's, that's a mistake. mistake. That's if a mistake. Michael Rappaport no, 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 was mad, that would never happen. If Andrew Schultz was mad, that would never happen. That's fair. That's would you call that dick riding? That's why it's shaped like a penis. Dick riding. Now, oh my God. now, uh, drill music starts popping. What in New York? People start doing because where did drill come from? Down south music. I'm still confused. Why, why you, you get put... sturdy to drill. Say again. You get sturdy to drill. Yes. No, but drill, drill music from Chicago. Drill come from Chicago. London. Oh, well, yeah. Not New York, York. New York, York is what I'm saying. <laughs> it did not come from New York. New York is a is a is a, a place that always had its own sound, always had its own style. Set trends. We do set trends. Yes. It's been following them for a while. Ago. Nah. It's been following nah. them for a while. Nah. nah. That's the, crazy. The down New South ones, Down South music starts popping. Charlotte, New right York now you dress like a New York nigga. Right yeah, now. You're dressed up right now. now you dress like a New York nigga. Right now. I got now, on khakis and white shoes. New York invented khakis. I'm dressed like Slater. I'm dressed like Slater from Sound by the Bell. Yo, black people skateboarding? New York. Yep. Yep. That's Your whole style of New York right now. No. Stop. Stop. Harold That's Hunter. No. Yes. No. Stop shooting with the kids. Stop dragging it. No. 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 I got black, black people skateboarding. Black people dressed like a New York Mets logo guy. Black people skateboarding. 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 <laughs> are D riding New York so much I gotta go somewhere else to keep it exactly. original yo. <laughs> y'all take all of our shit the I only, walk into the motherfucking store all my khakis gone the only person my person jacket, jacket no York. longer here yeah. the only yeah, person dressed like here from New York here is Alex he looks like a Bronx substitute teacher <laughs> come here Alex show him your look yeah, this is you? a Bronx substitute teacher yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like a substitute teacher he does this is a Bronx substitute teacher I'm growing up I'm growing up I'm sure Alex dressed like a they them <laughs> it should have oh flogged. All I'm saying is, <laughs> no, no, but New York though, you were trying to be New York. This ain't New York. You came on to Brilliant Idiots with 14 inch high Timberland boots, bro. Yup. Did you really? Yup. Where, why, where'd you get that idea for from? Years. Monk's Corner, South Carolina? <laughs> yes. From Monk's Corner, South Carolina? This motherfucker would tie his sneaker in his thigh. First of all. He'd tie his boot in his thigh. Time to go no. outside. First of all, no. that was Tupac and Juice with the 40 below. Stop it. That's Mary J. Blige. That was you were dressed like Mary J. Blige. Yo, I wore them shit out of town one time. This shit looked so stupid. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Andrew was like, Andrew, he kept humming, not going to cry. So yeah. <laughs> You're all I need. They was the wrong color. To get by. Oh, that was oh, right. was it? That's the construction color 40 below. Come wow. on. Them shit look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was the wildest thing I ever seen. Your motherfucker was 
touching his kneecap because it kept itching the fucking tongue. <laughs> 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 You gotta this, Some shit was crazy, yo. Oh, Them shit York. was like old video games when you couldn't jump. You know how video games with math fluid now? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was like the old video games where you couldn't even do nothing but just stay in one position. That's, that's what that's what New York will make you do. That's the influence of New York. It's New York or nowhere. <sighs> Yeah, old I mean. New York, bro. I feel like I feel like New York is still leaning on old New York, which was which was so impactful that it's really never going it's anywhere. Yo, this Yo, how Drew. fire New this York new is. This new New York shit Drew. is a hybrid of a lot of different things. Kid Supra. Kid Supra. New York. <laughs> I only know Kid Supra because of y'all. Thank you. All right, but Louis New Vuitton, York head men's designer of head Louis. Head men's designer of uh, oh, I Louis. I did not know that. Look at that. That's Kid, New York. That's Kid, Super, that. Kid Super don't have nothing on whoever had everybody wearing Supreme around this motherfucker. But it's Supreme's gesture. also New York. Yes. Who had people wearing Bave and Ape around this motherfucker? That's New York. You're saying all York. New York. None of that shit started in New York. Doing what are you club? talking about? Supreme, Supreme started, started in New York. York. No. Yo, Supreme, Supreme is New York. New York. Supreme uh, started in New York. But it was Supreme. New York. It don't matter. It's New York. No, I'm saying Supreme start, didn't start in New York. Yes, yes it, it did. did. In New York, let's go. Okay. Everything we starts in New York. That was from New York. But that's what I mean. Once again, everything he said 1994, here. which is one of the yeah, greatest years. Yeah. Can I just say one thing? Can I just say one thing? Y'all are from places that don't even have a past. I love New York. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like New York still the past. What's your past? I love New York. But we can't even speak about South Carolina's past. Well, I don't even know where you're from. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on now. Like, put some respect. We could go back to the 90s in New York and still look fly. But you go back to 90s South Carolina, we dressing like. Uh, we want our fucking own country. No. <laughs> I listen, listen, Fuck. I, listen, I, love, I, I love New York, but as a non-New Yorker, I'm like, what happened to the culture of New York City? Yo, we out. still are bodying people, bro. In what? In Brooklyn. First of all, all the slang it's, is it, New York. Absolutely Riz. Not. It's Chicago. Riz is New York. It's you Chicago started in Atlanta. Atlanta. I what start. the fuck is Riz? I'm from you. I started. I never that. heard of Riz nowhere else. I've never heard it in my life until yo, just five oh seconds ago. Yo, oh my god, y'all getting old. Yo, yo, yo. Get, y'all Riz is New York. Y'all say Riz? Yes. What does that mean? What do you mean? What does that mean? I never heard of Riz. Y'all yo. got this other saying. What's that saying? The grip. When a girl got the Trish? grip. <laughs> a trish. Oh, yes. Trish. Like, who the fuck says trish? That shit did not stick. Do you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Trish, Trish was like in a thought. song. What song was that in? Oh, I Something love that song. Terrible. Um, the fuck is that guy's name, bro? Exactly. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, All I'm simply saying don't is, stick. it don't pass. What are you talking? Where are you from again? The is a hybrid of a bunch of different DMV. things, yo. Hold on a second. She's from the DMV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all suck. Dick <laughs> 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 mouth vagina. Yo, the fuck y'all got, yo? Y'all got nothing, bro. We got Marvin Gaye. We got wow. we still claiming fly. old we shit. We got Wale. We got wow. Taraji DMV P. Fly. Henson. New York is fly too. We, no, we, give me some slang for DMV. What's DMV got? Make America great again. I don't want to hear nothing. Wow, that was that's that was DMV slang. Up. Make no, America no, no, great no, again. No, no, no. Maga. <laughs> that's what y'all thought of. Nigga, no. Yes. No. Name some DMV slang. I can't believe we're even competing right now. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is I would crazy. say Mo. They say Mo in the Bronx. That came from the DMV. Wait, what do you mean Mo? Mo. No, nah, Mo definitely came from Harlem. Yeah, Mo is Harlem shit. No, Mo's DMV. We Yo, say Mo. Just because you heard no, it in DMV don't mean that you didn't get it from us. Anything, All any, culture any, comes any, from any, us. Anything that got to do with like paws, Mo, that definitely came from New York. Yeah. Paw, that, well, yeah, because never mind. Anything but. cool is from here. All I'm simply Trish saying is absolutely not going anywhere. And whatever that rich shit you said, absolutely not. The, all I'm simply saying is the reason the Empire State Building has to do this is because they don't have any wins to celebrate their own, which is whack. I mean, you're right about that. It's absolutely pathetic that we're not out here getting W's. That's, That's, That's all I'm sad. saying. This used to be a championship city on all levels, from music to sports, culture, everything. Now we're in a drought. That's all. And, and it's okay it's to admit sad. that. But no. I, it's sad. It breaks my heart. This is true. So now you're admitting it. What am I admitting? <laughs> <laughs> that New York is in a cultural drought. No, that's why, that's why Diddy will get. About that's, that's why Diddy will get on these platforms and say New York got to. You got to bring New York back. Come you got to bring New York back. Diddy's on a jet ski in Miami. Exactly. 
Because he's rich. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No guy worth a billion from dollars is going through fucking he's, February from New the York. 90s. Yeah. Rich off of New York culture from the 90s. Now stop. Now you're being disrespectful. Yeah, that's mad. Come on. Diddy's got so millions rock. in every decade. He made more money on exactly. Ciroc than okay, anything else. I'm just talking about music relevancy in New York. Could you stop? Yeah, he's not as relevant when it comes to the yeah, music now. He had number one record last year. I'm not and shit, so did his son. I'm not yes. shitting on Diddy. I'm just talking about the culture. You definitely shitting on Diddy. Uh, yo, you shitted on so many black icons this podcast. Bro, yeah, that it's can just you wild. say one Who nice thing about on? black people ever? Words. <laughs> 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 yo, yo, can I just say? <laughs> how you want to shit on New York? Yo, yo, this is crazy. Your name no, got New York on, in it. I did it's not true. shit Your name got New York in it. We got LA But which comes first? It's not Lonnie. <laughs> you know what comes first it's New York LA you didn't call yourself DMV cause nobody would fucking listen to that shit but everybody hate the fucking DMV you got off on a tangent okay. you got off on a tangent yes New York is going through a cultural drop no 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 no, 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 no. we yes, not yes, taking that yes, you are. Yes, you are. no we're not it's yes, you are. okay no yes, you are. hey yo that yes, was hey yo what you yes, just you said right but there but more importantly here's the thing that New York does and I got on Envy about this this week. Whoever is winning, they ride with. You can't do that. What does that if, mean? If you're a Giants fan, yeah. you don't root for the Eagles just because the Giants not in the playoffs. Nobody in New York did that. Nobody. Yes, they. they the Empire nobody, State Building had green and white. Do you on. think the person that runs the Empire State Building from New York? They just want to have fun. Mayor Adams. Mayor Adams don't run the fuck. He's you think, in the. Yes, he does. You think from Mayor house. Adams? You think yes. Mayor Adams? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Son. This, is, yeah, this, this guy really thinks that the, the, the comic books is everything. So he really thinks that this guy is Bruce mean? Wayne or something yes. like that. <laughs> Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> this is not how the world what works. What do you mean? This is yes. not how the world yes. works. Listen, last year, when the Rams went to the Super Bowl, NBA DJ the party out there, he had the Rams jacket on, talking about he's rooting for the Rams because Odell played for the Rams. Isn't for DJ the Giants. MVP, MVP from New Jersey? No. New York, Queens. Definitely That's not really New York. I'm rooting for the Rams. Yeah. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. This is what New Yorkers do also. This is what New Yorkers do. Like, we all New York until it's New Yorkers talking. It's like, oh, you from Staten Island, bro? That ain't really New York like that. I mean, Staten Island. I mean, yeah. 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 If you don't claim Staten Island, you can't claim Wu Tang. I'm about to say Wu Tang. And Wu Tang is the quintessential New York group. To outside of New Yorkers. Yeah. That's a fucking lie. New Yorkers ain't fucking Wu Tang like that. That's suburban rap. I'll be honest with you. That's from the outside now, of New York people. I'm shot. being honest with you. Now that's, we jump that's, the from, that's for white kids from outside now New York. We didn't, no, now we Wu-Tang is for shot. white kids outside New York. Now I know, now I know it's heartbreaking ride. for y'all. Because no, yeah, you like the tattoo. <laughs> but your Wu-Tang tattoo? I refuse to. I refuse to. Your Wu-Tang tattoo is basically Kid Rock tattoo. No way. The same. No way. That's Kid Rock. You might as well be ball with the ball. You take the bang, diggy, diggy, diggy. So the money you said you take out of New York culture. You've literally taken out about sixty percent of New York hip hop. It's for suburban kids. Nah, bro. Wu-Tang is is New York rap for suburban kids. No, no. I'm just telling you what it is. No, there's two from Brooklyn, right? Think about the shit they rapping at. Yo, Method Man can't wait to do a movie with you. Method Man not in Wu Tang, bro. What do you mean? I, I thought you were talking about Red Man. Sorry. I thought I had you there too. I, I, thought I, had him there. I thought I had him there. I was like, oh, you got it wrong. Yeah. My bad, my oh, bad, my bad. No, no. Met the Man is, is the man. Don't get me wrong. No, really love Wu Tang is the man. Ghostface Killer is my favorite rapper of all time. Salute to Raekwon, Jizz of the Genius. Yo, that is the quintessential New York group. People think New York, they think Wu Tang Clan. From outside of New York. No, man. Everybody. I think it's for everybody. Uh, nah, bro. I'm, I'm with, you got New Yorkers telling you right now it's not I'm, it. Yo, when's the last time you seen a uh, Wu Tang like collab in New York the way that you see Dipset come together? Yo, bro, like, they had a. They just came off tour. They had a whole tour with Nas. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying year. that's what I'm saying. It's not sell. Drake brings out <sighs> Dipset. They don't bring out Wu Tang. Exactly. Like, like they were in Harlem. Dipset like uh, speaks they for New York. They were in Harlem. Alex, than, I'm just saying all of New York. Fucks with Dipset more than Wu-Tang. Yeah, Dipset way more impactful. Yes. Shit, Mob Deep Locks way, more way more impactful. Locks way more impactful. Yeah. Wow. Like, y'all, be, y'all, honestly, did, y'all, I can't believe y'all being this disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. out of control. It was great a, music for y'all. I, Taurus. That is the greatest <laughs> yeah. hip-hop logo of all time. It is. We're not talking about you the logo. You go in Walmart right now, you're going to see Run DMC, Wait, Wu-Tang, hold on, hold on, Rolling Stone, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guns N' Roses. You, hold on, you go, you, go, you go where you'll see that? Target. No, wait, wait, you said what? Walmart. Walmart. And Walmart's located where? Everywhere. 
Not in New, New York. York City. <laughs> New York City don't have no Walmart. <laughs> That's your Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's your Walmart. Yeah. Well, honestly, you got to know when to hold them. <laughs> No way in the photo. I think that Dipset just came out in an era where, where like music was more mainstream. They're more current. Like Wu Tang wasn't as mainstream because hip hop was so new when Wu Tang was a thing. Like, but when Drake brought out when Drake brought out Dipset at that concert, those kids didn't even know who the fuck they were. Yes, they. It did. was that's crickets. not true. Yes, they did. It was you there? It was no, I wasn't crickets. there. So the fuck you gonna tell me? Because I just know. Can I say something? Can I say something? Then, then that means Harlem wasn't at the show. Ooh. Because if Harlem was at the show, if there's one thing I that, see my friends from Harlem there. I'm just saying, if there's one thing that Cam has done like brilliantly, it's like continue to invest in Harlem. I'm not talking about financially, but like that's who he represents. Those are his people. He's in the streets. He has like businesses there. Like he's putting on fucking basketball tournaments. Like Cam is in fucking Harlem. As an outsider, Dipset is everything, but I'm not. Wu Tang is too. Wu Tang is Wu Tang is commercially the, popular outside of New York. They're the biggest hip hop group. Nuts. They're, they're, Wu Tang ran New York ninety three, ninety four. There's no question. Gotta be longer than that. From into the thirty six chambers, the the, the Ghostface Supreme uh, clientele. Damn. Oh, come on. I was too young. I'm I was telling you, it wasn't was too young. fucking with us. I was too young, Bro, baby. Wu Tang is by Wu, the, the, the two biggest hip hop groups of all time, arguably, are Outkast and Wu Tang. Amigos. And run, yeah. Run DMC not big as Outkast and um, Wu Tang Clan. No, they're they're known. Migos, but you're at seventy two, Chris. It's an era thing. But it still happened. It did happen. Mm. I don't know. If, I don't think they're as big as Wu. I don't think they're as big as Wu Tang and Outkast. People know that logo too, though. Who Run DMC? Yeah. I, I, listen, I'm with you. Every Christmas you gotta I'm, hear a Run DMC record. Listen, if, if, if I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against the debate of Run DMC. Run DMC is absolutely one of the biggest hip hop groups of all time, but I think the two biggest are Outkast and Wu Tang Clan. What you mean, Outkast? Why is everybody nah, shaking Outcast, their head? Outcast, I'm just shaking my head at Outkast. Outkast is great. Outkast is awesome. Outkast no won question. Best Album we just talking about, of the Year at the Grammys. We talk what about New Best Yorkers. Album, not Rap Album. We're we talking about, about what New Yorkers York. relate to and how New Yorkers identify. It's Wu-Tang, not Wu-Tang, biggest hip hop group of all time. It's just not how we New identify. York City. You, it, I'm saying to outside of New York, they were impactful. To New Yorkers, we wanted to look, dress, feel like Dipset more than we wanted to look, dress, be That's like Dipset. That's two different eras, though. That's two I different eras. Era thing, yo. Okay, so then what, fine. So I'm, what was I'm, the era in the 90s? I'm too, I'm too young? Yes. For something? Yes. No, what was the era in you're the 90s? 39. I'm 39. Alex, you're... Uh, 34. But 34. I'm saying... Um, two years from being 36. <laughs> and then you're going to respect the 36 chamber. But 90s was, <laughs> I feel, was all Diddy. It was all Puff. That, it was that, all Biggie. It was all... That's the second half of the 90s. Second I'm just half saying, half but that... Definitely second half of the 90s. It, it was more impactful. Uh, That's Cap. I don't know, man. You don't think Biggie was more impactful it's than... Not, it's not even close. Wu-Tang? It's not even close. I'm saying like... It was city. a whole country Nas, war. Jay-Z, like, all these people way more p- impactful Not in the New 90s. York. Not Jay-Z. Not, 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 maybe Nas, but not Jay-Z. And nah, Jay-Z was early too. Yo, we're not even mentioning 50 Cent. Like, yo, it wasn't until the, the 2000s, bro. That's way after Wu Tang. Yo, y'all today. listen to music in dumb times. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Where's listen. Fat Joe when you need him, bro? Yo, there we go. Where's, I, where's Fat Joe when you need yo, him to settle this debate? Terror Squad? You want to talk about Big Pun? Big Pun? That's the 2000s. Oh, really? Yes. Somebody get a timeline up. That's the 2000s. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't remember like, Wu-Tang. Hey, you even know Wu-Tang. You're, you weren't even born yet. She got the Mob D shirt on right now. But well, that's what I'm trying to say. The She's not wearing this yep. album. Yep. Look at, look at her shirt Somebody right now. Somebody gave me this shirt. More bro. impactful. No, Mob D was, was not more impactful than Wu-Tang, bro. Uh, uh, that, no, in New, New York. York. In New York. I, New York. I wasn't here, so I don't know, but I don't believe that. I'm Yo, so, like, for example, what's the Wu-Tang song? And I'm not talking about the Ghostface song. I'm not talking about the Method Man, Red Man song. Because Method Man is... <laughs> this is so stupid. No, say the question. No, no, what is, I'm going to body this one. Go okay, ahead. Okay, okay, I'm going okay. to I'm I'm let you do it. I'm going to let you do it. I'm going to let you do it. I'm going to let you do it. I don't even believe in Nala's old school hip hop trivia like that. <laughs> but I believe she's going to body this one. Just, okay. just take two records out of it and I bet you they can't name no, a third. No, but no, no let's, you let's, can't do that. He has to yell. It's a question. That's the question. Okay. What is the Wu Tang song that's more impactful and Wu Tang song? The the Wu Tang song that's more impactful than that same version of a Biggie song, that same version of a Jay Z song, that same version mm. of a Mace song. Uh, Cream. Also ice cream. 
That's, that's Cash rules said. everything around me. Greatest hip hop acronym all of time. all time. Drake uses it. Everybody yeah. uses it. Yeah. 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 That's why I wanted you to yeah. take one. I do that. Yeah. yeah. I do that. Yeah. yeah. I do that. Yeah. yeah. Room got quiet. <laughs> Hold on. Done deal. What was it? What is it? I grew up on the crime, crime side. side. The New, New York, York Times side. side. Was staying, staying alive was no a job. job. Had second hands. Mom's brown for no man. But then we moved to Shallon Land. A young youth rocking the gold tooth. Low goose. Only way I begin to G off is drug loot. You know the words. You just try to act like you don't know them because you know it's more impactful than every single song you was thinking about for everybody true. else. That's not true. That's not more impactful than Juicy. That's oh, not yes more impactful. No, it's yes, not. It's yes, not. It no, it was. stop it, it's Charlotte. Yes, it was. Bro. Easily. Stop it, Charlotte. Easily. No, Easily. it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. You're out of your mind. I don't know about more impact. I don't See, know about there more we go. Thank listen you. Listen to the young. Listen to the young. Listen to the young. Listen to the young about my shit. She's a DJ. No, no, she got it. Listen to the young about my she knows, shit. She knows. But one had to go first for the other one to come. Cream. First of all, Cream and Juicy are two different type of records. They are. But Juicy is not even on the level of hip hop. They're not really that different. Great records. They are different. Not because they're talking about coming from one place and actually really coming up. Yeah, but That's Juicy really has, what both of them are about when Juicy you think about like it. Juicy got like a commercial sound where oh, Cream, oh, oh, I you're cream about is like gritty. What the purpose of the record, the story the record is trying to tell. Cash yeah. rules. Greatest hip hop acronym of all time. One of the greatest hip hop songs. If Aliens came down right now and was like, yo, I want to hear hip hop. I want to know what hip hop sounds like. Like that, that's a that's a quintessential hip hop record. Nah, though. juicy, bro. Juicy, yeah, bro. you're off on that one. You're out of your mind. You're off on that one. You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. Juicy, Chris. You're out of your mind. Which you're one? Out of my, you're out Keep of your it mind. a buck, Chris. At the moment, Cream was bigger than Juicy, but Biggie had bigger songs other than Juicy after that. Cream was bigger as an intro single than Juicy was. Had more impact. Yes. But I wouldn't say that Juicy's Biggie's bigger song. No. And listen, I love Big, mm. but all Biggie's singles, the Big Poppers, the One More Chance, One More Chance was, was fire. One More Chance remix especially, but I'm still taking Cream, you know? Nah. nah. But you know what? The word impact is what threw me off. Listen, man, let's stop riding dick right now, okay? We riding wild, juicy dick. And if you wild, if you ride juicy dick for too long, it creams. Okay. <laughs> Damn, bro. <Wow. laughs> what? The knowledge, bro. What? What? The knowledge. Salute to New York, though. Okay. That's the moral of the story. I can't believe y'all disrespected Wu Tang like that. I thought I disrespected New York, but you just disrespected. Y'all disrespected Wu Tang for no reason. So you was coming to New mean, York. Y'all made me. I had to start defending New York. I can't believe y'all did that to Wu Tang. <laughs> Wu Tang Clan? God damn. That's, still, no, that's actually funny. <laughs> We what? still run this. Defending New York. Like, because they were, that, going, they that, were too hard. That wasn't the All argument. All I was saying was that New York has a tendency to do some de-hopping, right? Oh, my God. And they lose their identity from time to time. Nope. Right? And I was saying that right now it's a little cultural drought. Like, like, nah. like Our drill sounds different than everybody else's drill. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Damn, you really dragging it. Alex, <laughs> Alex, now you're the DJ. Does New York drill sound different than every other drill? No. Word. So our Brooklyn drill doesn't it sounds like Chicago. You're not drill. even from Brooklyn. And, and it even, don't matter. And I wouldn't even lean on the Brooklyn drill. Yeah, leave the drill. We leave the drill. Okay, okay. Leave the drill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe the R and B drill. drill. And I think it's the Bronx drill that's, yeah, that's probably doing. the most impactful. That's you know what, what was, keeps happening if you keep drilling with a juicy. <laughs> If you keep <laughs> if you keep uh, drilling with a juicy, but you just it creams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I went to the well too many times. Yeah. All right, let's pay some bills. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. What, we, what we got, Charlotte? <laughs> rocket money. Salute to Rocket Money, man. What do you think when you think Rocket Money? Well, let me tell you. Try it for free for thirty days. How many times have you heard those words and then you tried it for free for 30 days and completely forgot about a subscription or service? All right. Before you know it, you're paying for a subscription you don't use every single month with Rocket Money. You can change that with a few quick tabs. Rocket Money, formerly known as True Bill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80 percent of people have subscriptions they forgot about, like that screaming service you bought to watch just one show on or that free trial you never even use rocket money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want Simply find a subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as a click of a button. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. Now, 
I know for a fact, I definitely got some apps that I, you know, tried for 30 days just because I wanted to watch a quick fight or they had a show that I wanted to watch or a movie I wanted to watch on these streaming services, ordered it, forgot to get rid of it. It's just sitting there. I'm wasting money. I'm tired of throwing money away. OK, I need to cancel unwanted subscriptions. I need to manage my expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash idiots. OK, yes, I use my own codes. You should, too. That's rocketmoney.com slash idiots, rocketmoney.com slash idiots. Idiots. Now let's get back to the show. Yes, sir. We got church announcements heavy. Shit. What did I have? I had a church search announcement. What did I have a church announcement? I, I, I just want to mention that Juicy went six times platinum and Cream has not even gone one time platinum. So what? I'm just saying. That argument was like five That revisionist so history stupid. is a motherfucker. I'm just ain't. saying. I'm just saying. If you talk about impactful. Thank no, you. No, no, we're not. No, you're we're, no, you're not talking about impact right now. You're talking about sales. There's a difference between sales and impact. Yeah, you're talking There's, about metrics. What? You're talking you know, about metrics. Song that also has. Don't do this. You know, uh, don't don't even engage in this no. shit. Uh, they don't even do this. Don't even do this. <laughs> church announcements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the <laughs> church. What church announcements you got? <laughs> uh, I don't remember. What do you <laughs> Yo, mean, watch man? you people, man. You watch you people. Check you it people. Out. You people. Um, I want to I want to say that uh, my church announcement is salute to the WGA's uh, the Writers Guild Award. We are nominated um, for best comedy variety talk series hey. at this year's Writers Guild Awards. Uh, the ceremony is March fifth. I'll be presenting at the Writers Guild Awards as well, man. So salute to uh, Cynthia Barnwell and Josh Lee, Charles McBee, Dan McCoy, uh, Andre Thompson. That's my writer's room. Uh, nominated, man. Comedy Variety Talk Series at the WGA Award nominees, the Writers Guild Awards. So I think we should win, personally. I think um, so, too. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Either way, we're going to have a good time. I got a table at the WGA's. It's my first award show for, like, you know, Television. How do so, you feel about it? Um, it feels good, man. You know what's so interesting? What's up? Remember how we used to always sit here and say shit like, oh, I don't care about awards. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's easy to say when you're not getting nominated. Now you for nominated. Yeah. Yeah, I, I felt that same shit about the fashion week. I was like, oh, that's the dumbest shit, blah, blah. And then like, yo, you want to sit front row and walk? And I'd be like, oh, who did? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and it's We're, like when you when you get nominated. Hippocrates, bro. We all Hippocrates, bro. Uh, uh, you listen, man. Give it a couple years, y'all both be at the Met Gala. We damn right we will. <laughs> <laughs> damn right we will. 100%. And they're like, yeah, we came a long way, bro. Yeah. And we gonna be capping like, I don't want to be here. Eyes rolling, <laughs> and look at each other like, we made it. <laughs> Charlie, we need it. Well, here's the thing, though. It's a little, it's, it's it's a little different now because, listen, when you when I look around the industry. These are really my peers. Yeah. These are people I came up with. Like, yeah. Yeah, I used to shit on the Met Gala. Said you would never go. Because we didn't know none of those people. <laughs> ah, we, we, that's, old, that's the old regime. Because we weren't invited out. That's really but what we're it comes We're still not out. invited. So as far as I'm concerned. Speak for yourself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got invited to the Met Gala. <laughs> Fire my publicist. <laughs> Shit like that. Nah, nah yeah, me too, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. Until I get invited. Exactly. Then, then we're gonna make some time. <laughs> <Yeah>. But <laughs> well, so we, we got wives. That's the other thing you gotta you just gotta blame it on your wife. You gotta be like, listen, my wife really wanna go to this shit. All right. But that shit is fun though. That shit is fun <laughs> when your wife gets all dressed up and shit, you know what I mean? And y'all out of some fly shit like that. Uh, that shit is fun. Wife being happy and appreciative is the best. Yeah. Oh, one more thing, one more church announcement. Well, well, okay, well, well we got this out. Speak, speak, salute to Charleston it. Magazine. Let me see it. Oh, no. We got wow. covers now? Salute to Charleston we Magazine. We got covers now? That's being nice. from the 843, Ooh. being born in Charleston, South Carolina, raised in Monk's Corner. That is a big deal. That is a historical magazine uh, in Charleston. It's been around for a long time, probably like 70-something years. Um, What's the title? What's the title? The title is... Straight. Straight talk with Charlemagne the God. They must not listen to brilliant idiots. <laughs> <laughs> they must not listen to they brilliant idiots. They would know. The talk so. is real gay. Yes, it <laughs> is. It's a little curvy. A little crooked. It's a little crooked. <laughs> but you no. Know. Salute, uh, salute to Charleston Magazine, man. That's the eat and drink issue. They did a dope you know, piece on cool. me. And, you know, just about the stuff I'm doing in South Carolina from, you know, me and my wife opening up some Crystals franchises. This and, is cool. Um, 
all of my my work with mental health and of course the entertainment stuff you know the black effect and sbh productions with all the monks and, corner native on celebrity reclaiming yourself and repaying south carolina that's right. for all it's given him that's there fire that's it, man. man that's yeah, it I that's it that. that's mm -hmm. it so fire. thank you uh charleston mag that's one of the ones i'm getting framed Aww. once mm -hmm. again I don't care about covers of magazines. And then you Until want you that get shit. One, then we, you know what I mean? And then that's just a different. cover. That's, for me, that's big. That's Charleston. I was in that's the airport. I was time. flying back from Charleston Saturday, and I saw it in the airport like, oh, shit. And, you know, the, the dude, oh, uh, man. Yo, the opening the line name? is wild. I think the dude's name was Emmanuel. Emmanuel worked. I think his name was Emmanuel. Emmett. Emmett. Salute to Emmett. Emmett works at the, uh, I think it's the Hudson News in, in Charleston Airport. And, um... You know, I was talking to Eminem. I was like, oh, shit. You know, when I walked in, he was like, oh, shit, Charlamagne, whatever, whatever. And then I saw myself on the cover. And I'm like, oh, shit. And Eminem goes, he looks at me, he looked at me back, he goes, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I go, yeah, that is kind of crazy. I bought all of them. He could be seen as the American dream if said dream was black, bald, and wore a pair of broken in Pumas. It's kind of crazy. Damn, yo. <laughs> the fuck? It's kind of crazy. Why they chose that part to highlight and make it orange? It's kind of crazy. crazy. I do like a pair of broken in pumas, though. That's, That's kind of crazy. Yo, who Ty wrote told me to stop wearing these dirty sneakers. I like broken shoes. I might have shoes. to pull up. Who wrote it? It should say. Listen Charlamagne the God isn't the most obvious subject for a Black History Month project. Why wouldn't I but be? But he's certainly an intriguing one. Yo! Hold on. <laughs> it's right here. It's right here. Bottom of this What's story. Yo. Written by DeMarco Williams. Salute to my man DeMarco. It's my guy. That's a good picture, yo. It's, it's handsome, right? That's a handsome it's picture. It's giving right chestnut. There. It's not. Hey, I it, haven't even seen it. Is, it. I know bro. it's not. But it it's is. probably a nice picture. I'm sure it's a nice that picture. That is so crazy. Yo, like, this, stop, is, stop this is a great, <laughs> this is a great picture. The picture where you got Biggie on your shirt, not Wu-Tang. That's mm. a real interesting mm. picture. Oh. That's an interesting picture right I there. Said, I rep for, I said, That's I rep an for interesting me. picture mm -hmm. right there. I'm just telling you cream is better than juicy. That late night show picture is also amazing Which that one? you didn't acknowledge. Me and Colbert? Yeah. The Colbert one is solid. Hold some on one second. In there, man. Hey, you got some. Hey, you got some, some good, good picks, picks in here, good bro. Picks, man. Now this one, this one, I don't know if you've done anything better than that one right there. That that might be peak, bro. Nah, 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 that nah. That might nah, be nah. peak. He told me to sit down. He told me to sit <laughs> that down. That might be peak. He bro. said, "I want you to look so, at the camera and out, just think to yourself, hey, yo.' You out there I mean, looking like Mouse Jones yeah. in his pictures, bro? <laughs> yeah, that is a mouse. That's a mouse pic right that's there. But that shit works, right bro. Right that's that's tender, yo. So, that's no, that one. My guy, Tender Jones, Tenderoni Jones, Mouse Tenderoni Jones, is different, bro. Tenderoni Jones, is crazy. <laughs> guy, I ain't seen Mouse all year. Yeah, where Mouse been? Where the fuck Mouse at? He been around. What, you seen Mouse lately? You saw him yesterday. You saw they him do a pod. Yeah. Don't y'all still do the pod together? What's that beard like? <laughs> what? Um, so that is weird. I don't know. Beard like, I gotta stop being so Son, straight, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. Why are you to so? Me? You gotta be more vulnerable, Word bro. He's born, yo. He got man? plats in his hair. Um, so. Drake's house got burglarized. Oh no! Nobody. <laughs> 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 oh no! Man. According to law enforcement, Drake's security called police after they spotted an unknown woman. Leaving the property with an object from the house, it, it was actually a man. This is cool. But in man. my story, it was a woman. What? And it was a woman breaking into his house to steal one of those goddamn rings from off that chain. Did you see that shit, so man? So stupid. Drake I hate got the an concept. engagement ring. He got a chain full of all the engagement rings he would have given women. It's like forty-two fucking rings. Yo. I think Golly. he could have just bought the chain and not gave us the reason behind it. The reason Why would you buy it, forty-two baby? different rings? Not That's right. how I know Drake too rich. Because yeah. you would buy one big ass ring and then find the one person you want to give it to. Why you got to buy a different ring for everybody? I think it was yeah. from that uh, music video. Remember, he had a video where he was like marrying a bunch of girls, so he probably just took the ring back and. Uh, uh, through the but why zone. 42 of them you don't need to buy 42 engagement rings nah, he, he did it for the video married? huh he did it for the video what was the song um what was it falling back falling back, back. Falling back. Yeah. well 42 I, rings oh no that's the different that's the Adele, <laughs> that's the Adele shit right I keep on falling I wonder when you Alicia own multiple King. houses whatever bro that's black Adele when you own multiple houses do you care if one gets broken into <laughs> what when you own multiple houses, do you care if one gets broken into? Yeah, yeah. but less probably. No. Because it's not your main, his main crib is in Toronto, clearly. I thought that was the one that got broken into. No, no that's LA. His LA crib got broken oh, into. Oh, the Calabasas one? Yeah. I think I would still be concerned because when I go there, I don't want to have to deal yeah, with Yeah, you don't want nobody breaking in. Like, yeah. That's... Whatever happens when everybody knows you live. Everybody knows they live in Calabasas. 
And he gave the fucking directions on that song with Travis Scott. There we go. He did. There we go. To like, the left. To the left. Yeah, to he gave the left. He gave his directions. Crept yeah. down the block. Yeah. Made a right. All yeah. you got to do is follow the directions backward. Boom. Right to fucking Drake's house. Who do you think is the best rapper of all of us? Not oh, in terms man. of like thinking of their own words, but actually executing the raps. <laughs> Mouse Tenderoni Jones. Oh, Mouse for sure. Oh, oh, you mean in this room? Yeah. Taylor, man, when she be hitting that P5 full thumb, that should be slapping. Wait a minute, can you hit that? Taylor, <laughs> Taylor hit that. Oompa, doompa, oompa, dee, doo. Yo, come on, Taylor. Bust it out one time for the chocolate factory. <laughs> for the chocolate factory? What else we got, Taylor? Come on, Taylor. Taylor. Let's, what else we got, Taylor? <laughs> like what? <laughs> NBA referees union. Why is everybody tripping off this foul? Who cares? Who cares? It's not even a playoff game. Yeah, like, you whatever. know what I mean. Who I got cares? With, one of the dudes from the Lakers was like, "Yo, we, we getting our ass kicked." He didn't say it like this. But he was like, "We're getting our ass kicked so much that every game matters." You know what I mean? So we really can't stand to lose any. But like, it's not a like. We're at, why are we acting like you know this game costs? Yeah, them it ain't so be much the difference. Yeah, like, well, what's going on with them though? Are the Lakers bumming it up again? Oh yeah, I don't even think they're five hundred. Are they five hundred this no. year? No, no. they ain't five hundred this year. Yeah. But, they, but they're claiming that it's bad refereeing the reason why they're losing so many games. Come on, son, stop, stop. It's not bad refereeing. I don't know stop. what it is. I think we know, but it's not bad refereeing. I know LeBron is the greatest old player that the world has ever seen. That's facts, though. That motherfucker at thirty eight years is old is doing unbelievable things. My bro. God, unbelievable things. My God, I it, pulled my back pouring water into my thermos last week, bro. Look <laughs> at the teacher who leg broke. All she did was slam a woman. And this guy's thirty eight years old. Thirty eight years old out there dunking, the jumping. Nah, nah, you know nah, what I nah. mean? Like absolute. And LeBron still has never had like a major, major injury in oh, in man. NBA. Like the guy is unreal. <laughs> Knock on wood, bro. Even if, he, even if he did jinx him, who cares at this point? You've been in the league 20 years. This guy's like, crazy, bro. <laughs> what? This guy's crazy. <laughs> what? It's this worse now because he's older, so don't jinx him. Man, yeah, we LeBron jinxing, is a... Bro. Listen, man, I've never seen anything like it. And, like, you know, it, I guess we don't we don't really take it... We don't really consider it because they're, like, not winning. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, we don't care about how well you're playing if you... If, yeah, yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the fact that Tom Brady's still out there is incredible. The fact that Tom Brady's still balling at 45 years old is incredible. Yeah. But people take it for granted because he didn't win nothing this yeah. year. You know what I mean? People don't respect old people, yo. We need our respect too. No, I think they do. I think now, I think it's changed because think, everybody's realizing they're going to get old. I think we respect old people because we old. But <laughs> young motherfuckers do not care. <laughs> That's when the fun starts. Yeah, I think that is true. a point. No, nah, it is true. But young you, people don't care about old people. Bro. And you're older much longer than you're younger if you're blessed. Nobody's, you're nobody's you're nobody's only young like, for like Facts, bro. 19 years. And when you get old, you got a little money. You got, you know what I mean? You what got up? fun Nobody really it. starts thinking like that till 25. Yeah. Youth is wasted 25 on the young. and under, you're like, I don't know. It's just, you don't think about that. Uh, you never put stock in anything young and money. I, I tell people that all the time. The two things you should never put stock in is youth and money because they're the most fleeting things in the world. You're not going to be young forever and you're never going to be the richest person. And even that'll go up and down. Mm. So like... Naming your label Young Money is wild. Yeah, <laughs> like that I was, was wild. thinking about. Like that was wild. They produced two of the greatest of our generation. None of them can rep that anymore. Wow. You know what I'm saying? He said it at the concert. What he said? Young Money. Young Ooh. Money, Young Money. I mean, you can right. take people back to that era, but that but. shit going to look really wild in a minute. Yeah. That's why he got a whole new crop of Young Money artists. He does? Yes, I saw them on a... Uh, the bar, what's the show Wayne? called? Bars for 85. Yes, it's a whole new crop of young money artists. Mm. What's the show called? What's the look at that? I want to shout them out. This is a dope show. Bars for 85 or mm. I, 8, 8, 85, Bars 85 or some shit like oh. that. Is it by 85 South? Bars 85. No, no, it's not 85 South show. Some 85 South. That's what it's called, Bars 85? I think so. Yeah, they had the whole new young money crew on there. Like, you got to do that. I didn't know that. You know what I mean? Mm. You have to. What's it called? Bars on 95. Bars on I-95. Salute the Bars on I-95, man. Uh, what else we got? Alex or Taylor? Who? Who? Man, it's a rap. Man, no, it's not. It's Why a rap. Trumpito, it's a rap, bro. Nah. It's nah. over. It's over. It's over. Nah. No momentum. No energy. New York City, I think, is filing uh, official charges. Some tax charges, I think, that they announced that today. It's over. It's over. Trumpito is over, my boy. I've been telling you. It's over. I don't know if he's getting locked up, but it's definitely over. Well, if he does get locked up, I predicted that two years ago. Yep. Yep. I did. Also, I Kanye had a run-in. Who gives a fuck? It's Hold over on. for Kanye. Yeah. It's not over for Trump, though. 
Because I, and I've said this a million times. <laughs> the reason it's not over for Trump because if Trump becomes a Republican nominee, Republicans get in line, bro. Yeah, I, yeah. I just don't think he can do it. But maybe you never know. One he just needs some new jokes. Write yeah. a new monologue. Do you want me to work on it? With you him? might have to say <laughs> whatever you, you did for Logan so Paul. You, you want me to work <laughs> on it? With him? Do for fucking Trump. All right, I'll get I'll get on it. Write I got some, some shit, bro. I got some bars for for Trump. Right, how would you? Who would you come at? Now, funny joke. You got to come at DeSantis. Dave Chappelle comes out on Friday night. And Dave Chappelle goes, he goes after this one particular group. <laughs> he said, please tell me it's not the same this goddamn the only group. No, group. he said, this is a group I haven't finished yet. Oh, okay. So that's the key. Mm. So who, if you was Trump, who would you come after? Who's the group? You did of blacks, you did Jewish people, you did Mexicans, you did transgenders. Autistics. <laughs> He's got a point. No. Autistics, he hasn't hit He's on autistics. He's got a point. I do have a point. He hasn't made fun of them yet. He's got a point. Yeah. Well, no, he did though. When he well, said not autistic, autistics, but mentally handic ill people. No, but autistic specifically. Yeah, remember he did the curse over there. What did he do? That was good too. Curse over there. Wow. Oh no, he did this one. Yeah, Chris but did that's both hands. Chris, <laughs> Chris threw both of them shit yeah, up. Like, you God were, damn, Chris. Can't go full T-Rex, Chris. can't go that. full T-Rex when you're doing that, Chris. No, that, that, My God. That that's physical great. handicap. <laughs> he didn't go mental handicap. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. God. They're doing it. What, is, what? <laughs> what would be? <laughs> I don't think that'll hit. The autistics? No. Yeah, because they're not bothering nobody. You has got to go after groups that are bothering people. There's no boogeyman right now. Who's oh, a I got man? it. Who? Robots, bro. Oh. Trump got to go build a wall a yeah. up around Silicon Valley. Ooh. Straight up. Artificial intelligence taking all the fucking jobs. Yeah, Elon Musk. Elon Musk got his Elon. Own. That's right. Go after it. Elon. Go. Boom. Yeah, That's what Trump yeah, should yeah. do. Attack Silicon Valley. Talk about all the, the clear and present danger that uh, AI is going to have. By the way, why are we allowing this to happen? What's that? Why? This artificial intelligence Why? shit. Chat GBT. Why are we allowing this to GPT? happen? GPT. Y'all think fake, y'all can't even handle fake tweets. Oh. We can't even handle fake information. Yeah. I saw motherfuckers yesterday online talking about Bishop T.D. Jakes owning Shade Room. What? And they was, they was running with this shit. T.D. Jakes was trending. People were sending me this shit. I knew it. I'm like, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Your bishop owned Shade Room. Y'all I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. It was too much power, too much influence. But y'all can't even handle fake information in the form of tweets, fake information in the form of rumors. And y'all think y'all can handle fake artificial intelligence? Y'all really think y'all can handle a fake Kanye West saying something to y'all like no you can't do that well we can't even handle con real kanye west mm. like, but you know what i'm saying here like we mm. cannot handle that why AI. are we doing this to us ai then they, you, you got, chris saw the article i sent them and they said in two years it's going to be a uh a, a, a cyber war of epic proportions like it's a, of apocalyptic proportions like you don't see keep what's that going shit on cyber on you know you can't handle that keep show. it on the internet everything we do is digital no, nah, but then we'll just go to Montana, bro, and live that life. How you gonna get there? They're gonna shut the planes down. Everything will be grounded. Oregon Trail. They're gonna fuck with the FAA <laughs> system. <laughs> you don't think I could Oregon Trail? I you're got gonna, a fake Porsche in the garage right there. You're gonna be driving a car that got a chip in it. No, not my fake Porsche. You got a fake Porsche? Yeah. What is it? Why they have, have a chip in it? 1957. If that shit got a chip no in chips. it from China. No chip. <laughs> <laughs> don't say the word child man <laughs> don't say that country I don't like when you talk about that country <laughs> talking about artificial intelligence not even close to my intelligence <laughs> AI. AI that's what Trump gotta go after bro and I yeah. ain't talking about Alan Ives I'm talking about the fucking robots bro that's, yeah. I'm telling you that's who Trump gotta go after Trump, treat the, Trump treats artificial intelligence and robots like he treated Mexicans he's, back in, there for, he's back in there for 2024 uh, yo I attack big tech go right at him Go right at him, bro. Whoa. Go right at him. Whoa. All right, let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. Asking idiots. See, this is what, this what is, we want to do. Is is why ask an idiots. This is why I'm going to give me a robot. See what we just asked you? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you a robot. Exactly. Don't talk. Charlamane, yeah, robots don't talk back. You know what they don't mean? question what at you all. ask for, Charlamagne. At all. If you ask a robot to do something, they at do all. it. At they all. do it. Say again. Why do you hate black women? Yeah. Charlamagne, robots aren't black. <laughs> aren't what? black and we know for sure they're not women because they do what you fucking ask them 
Wow. Charlemagne. 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 I'm telling you. You ask Siri. Siri, what's the weather? It doesn't go, why, why the fuck you need to know what the weather is? In fact, Siri, if she can't understand, you, like, I can't understand you right now. Could you repeat the question? Siri wants to hear from us. Charlemagne. But she just asked the same making thing. Sense. She said, what'd what? you say? Huh? 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 <laughs> Don't fucking love me. All she asked was, what that's did she not, say? That's not what she did. We said, person. no, we no, said, Charlamagne, that is not true. Point. Okay. Is There's a lot of black women that's like, Taylor, don't put us in the same boat as you. All right, listen. What I said, what I said, what I said, what I, I said, let's go to some asking idiot. And Taylor said, you don't want to do such and such? Yeah. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> because right. it's not a robot. Charlemagne, there are certain jobs robots would do good at. Ask an idiot, maybe one of them. Taylor, could you please go to Ask an Idiot? Because I know that you did just prep for Brilliant Idiots and you do such a great job at prep. What? Wow. What the fuck? What? 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 Wow. What? what? Holy yo? shit. What? Holy this shit. This is so crazy. Damn, yo. What are you talking about? You damned if you do, damned if you don't. Why are you so you get this you, is crazy. you get stuck in the chocolate tube this morning or something? Yo, come on. That man. Empty Thoughts Podcast wants to know why are we so mean to Taylor? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. What does that say? That did say that. That what did say that. that, say? Oh, Why, that you, this is wild. You're sending in your own yeah, question. That's right? crazy. This is crazy, Taylor. That's crazy. Taylor, this is wild that you that were sending your own that question. That's definitely crazy, Taylor. This is nuts. Taylor, you're a crazy ass girl. This is yo. crazy. Taylor. And I'm not mean to my Taylor. I love my Taylor. Whenever I need a new suit, you know what I mean? Whenever I'm like going to like an award show and I need something done, <laughs> yeah. my tailor is amazing. Salute to Alexander Nash. You Yo, know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ernie Alexander Nash. Nash He's man. an amazing tailor. Yeah. I would never disrespect my tailor. I am so good to my tailor. Not once. Not once. But that's that tailor. What, what about your golden ticket tailor? What about her? What, what? There's a golden ticket tailor? That's golden ticket tailor right there. Why you call her golden well, ticket? Why do you think she made it to the chocolate factory, <laughs> my brother? <laughs> Yo, you know what's so funny? Yo, Dwayne is hilarious. Do you know whenever I do that, he does the yeah, yeah. sound effect on the podcast, it goes boom, boom. I was driving, I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Taylor. One time for Dwayne, man. Nobody's mean to Taylor. Taylor's actually the meanest motherfucker in here. That's facts. Taylor is mean. Because no. you don't consider the people no. recording downstairs. I... Listen, listen. <laughs> listen, listen. 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 Come on, Damn. Taylor. Come on, Taylor. He's out here earthquaking. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> <laughs> and we do put on the tallest chair, man. My earthquake like, runs all the boys from the yard. <laughs> okay. No, no, oh, no, no. That was good. 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 <laughs> My earthquake brings all the boys to the yard. And they're like, damn, the fuck happened to the fault line? If y'all knew, so knew how mean Taylor was <laughs> Taylor was to people, y'all would not be asking us why we so mean to Taylor, yo. Yeah. I seen Taylor walk up to a grown Fucking man! Grown man. And say to this grown man, so how does it taste? <laughs> the grown man's like, huh? He, she's like, how does it taste? He's like, how does what taste? Diddy's dick. What? Boom. All he did was work a revolt. That's crazy. <laughs> Why man, I be sucking dick? That's because he work a revolt crazy. to me. Yeah. Am I lying, Taylor? Taylor, am I lying? Not wow. lying. Taylor, and yo, all you can do is laugh. Taylor wow. is mean as shit. Okay? She's from Philly. Philly people are notoriously mean. That is funny for me. Is you Gilly the King that not to mean? Him, man. Gilly's funny, but he's mean. Yeah. Is he, what you mean? Wow, Wallow. Wallow's not mean at all. Wallow's one of the nicest Wallow's gentlemen. Sweetheart. Wallow's one of the nicest people you ever gonna meet in your life. He's a he's an amazing guy. Gilly, Gilly. Gilly, how you gonna disrespect Gilly the Great? Quest love mean as shit. Beating the fuck out of drums. Go. Oh <laughs> get it out of the system. Got to get it out the system. Going crazy gotta on the drums. Why you got to beat the drums so hard, Quest That's facts. Love. That's facts. Salute to Quest Love. <laughs> Philly fans mean as shit. Mm. You know what I mean? 49ers fans probably got punched in the face the other night and they and they lost. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, what remember, the fuck? There's that the iconic video where the Eagles fans threw shit at um 
Uh, Santa That's Claus. That's what I'm saying. Through the batteries fuck? in Santa Claus. Yeah, motherfuckers, is mean, bro. Snowballs Philly's a mean in Santa city, Claus. Yo. City of brotherly love my ass to the crack in the Liberty Bell for a reason. That's right. Oh, um, shit. Because Taylor walked by that shit when it was cold <laughs> outside. <laughs> 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 that shit ran so fucking loud. <laughs> the British shit. are coming. <laughs> the British are coming. <laughs> <laughs> that shit rang so loud and so long and it cracked, bro. Oh, my God. God I damn. Was, I don't be mad. I'm thinking than you because that's what's holding all that. Yeah. Taylor. First of all, Son, gravity's was holding you got on down, khakis Taylor? right now. I got on khakis. They ain't nothing but a thing, my G. Whoa! Oh, Yo, go back to back. Back, back to back. Back to back. back, to back. <laughs> go back to back over there. Show go over there. Look at that P. Now, I'm being honest, right honest right now. I'm being honest right now. That's a P. Taylor, you don't got it, yo. Now, Charlotte got it, yo. Charlotte got it, yo. Now, Charlotte got it. That's right. God damn. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Charlotte, you got that motherfucking bread basket, my boy. Fucking basket. Bread basket, my boy. You know what I'm saying? The hell is you talking about playing with me? Playing with me. Oh, sit down, J-Lo. <laughs> oh my Scroll God. down, Taylor. Out here talking crazy. Out here talking crazy. Uh, I'm not even answering that. When you know she be, you should be done with a woman. <laughs> I have no idea. Wouldn't know. I have no idea. Wouldn't know. Nyla, as a woman who people have been done with, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, I might have worded that wrong. Hold on, Nyla, as a woman, asshole. <laughs> what? Asshole. This is crazy. We try to be inclusive. Nah, nah, <laughs> yeah, this is wild, Nyla. Yo. That is crazy. As a woman that, ha, wait, I don't know. As a woman, <laughs> <laughs> which part of the sentence were we wrong? Y'all are crazy right now. What's going? I I can make it. I can make it. You know what? If you missed that, you're gay. (laughs) (laughs) What you know? What I want to hit? How'd you know what I want to hit? You seen the TikTok challenge? Everybody shooting. Uh, you missed it, you gay? You didn't see that? No. Yeah, it's a TikTok challenge. I don't be on TikTok, Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah. I don't be on TikTok either, but I be aware of all the gay shit. Um, <laughs> I think it's time to call, guys. It's, <laughs> it's, it's over. That's so, all. Listen. You, you, yeah, no, 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 no it's over. It's <laughs> over. What's the question? What's the question? Any of them. You don't want us to answer any of them. Shut up. What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is a good one. This is a good All one. Right. Steve O.O. wants to know, what's the most important thing in life for you guys? I like that one. My wife, man. Ooh. Yeah. Um, man, it, t- saying family is so cliche, right? But, but if you I, don't say family, you're a fucking sociopath. No, I, I, can tell you, I can tell you why. The first thing that came to mind was to be of service. But when I say to be of service, I mean like for my everybody, my family, my friends, and just society as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that you know, you want to show up as the best version of yourself. You want to do the work on yourself and everything, just so you can show up as a, a, a great citizen in this society of ours and just be of service to people. Mm. So honestly, yeah, the most important thing in my life is. I mean, fam- like I said, family is a no-brainer, but it's to be of service. Mm. You know, I just want to be of service. That's it. Mm. Nyla? Uh, yeah, mine would probably be family as well. And peace. Which you didn't get on this podcast today. Yeah, not at all. Damn, It was Nyla. good to the end. It was good to the end. It was good to the end. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, say the ending. <laughs> I wasn't going to say there's a lot of people that could say that about relationships. I wasn't going to say you in particular. I'm just saying. Oh, God. As always, if you listen to this podcast and you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. Absolutely right. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening, guys and gals. 